Do they do the same? I carried a watermelon. How much for your master system? Quarter. With all the games as well. Yeah. What about your Sega Mega Drive? Or is it just the back? Yeah. Good, good neck. Knackered. So I've just been to the car boot. Got the bag of goodies. My phone. <laughs> so I've just been to the traders over there. And they're notoriously expensive. And I had a there was two Spider-Man plushes. <laughs> and I got them. <laughs> just because I like them. And the guy made a bright mountain out of a mole about one of them, saying, Oh, I spent tenner on that. So like, okay. But I got they had like loads of bags. And I've checked them, they're all vintage St. Michael. One of them is really interesting, but one of them goes for £30 on their own. And he was like, I was like, yeah, that goes for that that plush toy goes for well loads on eBay. I was like, you just said you bought it for a tenner. Yeah, <laughs> but then with the with the bags, he was like, I'll oh, just give us a fiver for the free. It's <laughs> like, all right, well. <laughs> there was a guy selling a master system for forty quid with a load of games. One of the games is fifteen pound on its own. The others aren't that good. I was very tempted. Oh, so this is the this is where the old car boot used to be. They used to have two sides. This used to be the main one and it used to go all the way down. And then that used to be where everyone parked. But the council in their fucking stupid wisdom decided to put this is all pop-up shelters for refugees. They did, <laughs> they're building like pods. How unsanitary is that? So anyway, yeah, that's caused a bit of a stink because basically all they want to do, this car boot I think is going to be end up pushed out because it's already like pushed on there. There's no parking. You have to park all either on the main road or all the way down there. So yeah, that's dying a death this car boot. Thanks to the council who actually run it, ironically, but yeah. They're quite happy uh, charging people parking tickets because they've pushed all the parking off now. So if someone parked like this idiot here, this absolute tool, fuck it in. It's my dad. <laughs> if a parking attendant catches him, he'll charge him like 60 quid. I was just saying, dad, there was people on the car boot talking about what they've done, like all of this. This used to be the car boot as well. All it used to come all the way down here before this was built. And this was in conjunction with the Hilton Hotel. Why have they got a Hilton in Hanley? No one's going to stay there. They're going to stay over the road at the Best Western, which is actually pretty good. It's got a pool underneath, you know, Hello. and a swimming, like a swimming lounge, and it's like half the price. But they built that stupid mod, this car park, stupid monstrosity. It's supposed to be a stadium there, isn't it? Yeah, well, they're getting ready for it now, aren't they? So basically, they pushed out the car boot up there, then they pushed it off 
the main bit and they're going to put all those refugee pods just been out I've just been saying like they've been pushing on it's going to die a death they're going to push it and no one's going to go I mean there was hard, there wasn't a lot there um, I did manage to get a few bits though well <laughs> I had three toys in my hand two of them were spider-man not not anything like valuable they just look cool <laughs> and uh, I had three vintage St. Michael embroidered bags <laughs> he was like that Spider-Man Mars Morales toy is well expensive. And I was like, how much on the bags? He's like, oh, there's three there, give us a five for them. I was like, all right, they're like 30 pound each. Right. <laughs> Thank you very much. And I said, I said, how much for your toys? And he said, I'll oh, just give us a five for those three and all. And I was like, all right, so I spent a tenner. And I'm gonna make like close to 100, probably 75 to 100. Yeah. I was like, Thank you very much, Lee. Yeah, I got quite a bit of clothing, lots of shorts for 50p. Okay. Ooh. What do I get? What do I get? I think I'll just have a. It's not even that. I can zoom in on my phone, you see. I'll have a uh, chai latte. A chai latte. The big charity shop in Hanley. It's open on a Sunday, thankfully. Okay, <clears throat> just got home. But Philip is on, so I'm watching Philip is what not show. Go subscribe <laughs> and buy stuff. <laughs> right, back from the boot. Um, didn't get a hell of a lot to be honest. I only got like the one thing I did get was lots of shorts uh, from the first guy for fifty p each. I was like, okay, and they're they're not bad. Um, not my favourite buy, but it's not bad. These, for a pound each, they do need a good clean because some of them are rather dirty. Um, this one is a, a Duns & Co. Like farmer hat. This one is a Harris Tweed, like one of the Paperboy hats. Uh, how many things? One, two, three, six, seven, eight. So it's an eight. What's it, one? Oh, that was quite nice. And then I've got this as well, which was nice, but it's I've realised how bad. It's like poking out the side there. The inside is absolutely filthy. I mean, look at that tag. Uh, it's Fred Perry, like, flat cap. But they're all a pound, I thought, why not? Uh, oh, I got this for, these for a pound. So this, I do well with these. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like Capriz or Capri, is it Capri? Capri, like, I don't know. But basically like, they're like shell, like really thin. 
like shells uh, from the same guy. Uh, yeah, these were all, all like a pound for all three. Uh, just little lampshades, but these are kind of liked. <laughs> kind of cute. Paper. Uh, they're like cardboard though. But I do like that. Cloud babies. Get cloud babies. If they're under four quid, get cloud babies. This was two pound. Hello, I'm Baba Blue. There's a white one. A white one. And it's worth like, I think it's like 60, 70 quid. There was um, the plush ones. The actual plushy ones. Bye. Bye. Uh, <laughs> let's put you over there. So these are all 50p each. All of these. 50p. Um, <laughs> right, so yeah. I was worried that some of them might not have the buttons, but they do. I'm gonna double check. Yep. Yeah. XL Weekend Defender shorts, cargo shorts. They'll do nicely. Napa PG, put Napa PG. I can't even pronounce it. They need to do adverts so we know, you know, like the whole IKEA IKEA thing. It's like we need to know what it says. Uh yeah, these are size 36, so that's like a me is it medium to large? It's a large in it and 36. Yeah, these are Hugo Boss. Genuine Hugo Boss. <laughs> Everyone always said they're genuine. Uh, they're the ones with the Hugo Boss down the side, and yeah, they're, they're in good nick. 50p again, all of them 50p, I love it, I love it when they just say 50p in that box, and you end up finding loads. Uh, Peaceful Hooligan, kind of a similar brand to like Martial Artist and Weekend Defender I find, and it can be a little bit sticky. Another Weekend Defender large, but these, oh wait, I, yeah, it hasn't got like the thing, they're just like some swim shorts. I think I've got eight pairs, I was going oh some Berg House, 36. Yeah, XL. It says on there. Oh, there's my wallet. Found my wallet. Um, we can defend a medium. I'm glad they unzip them and like so you can, because sometimes you can pick up stuff and like you forget to check the zip. Yeah, we can defend it. It's not it's not the best brand out there, but it, they do kind of do quite well. I don't think I've ever had shorts though. I've had jackets and shirts and t-shirts. Don't think I've had shorts. So now I've got like three. <laughs> uh, so that was eight pairs. Uh, I paid four pound altogether, and even if I sell them for a tenner each, that's eighty quid from four pound. That is the kind of flips that I like. But what I usually do is my strategy for these sort of items is I usually put them up at say fifteen, sixteen pound, and then accept anything over a tenner, or I send offers out of like thirteen pound. Usually that works. Vintage St. Michael bags, and there, there's three of them. I always pick these up, always, always, and I always make money. The last one I met, I sold went for $39.99. It was a deep, like, tote bag. It, the, the tag is usually around the inside. You see that? St. Michael. So, uh, vintage MS St. Michael. I don't know. But for, for a fiver, for all three, they'll. Ooh, they'll be in the background ticking over. It meant the charity shop was opening up, so I thought, oh, I'll just go to the charity shop. I wasn't the only person, there was lots of people who went to the car <laughs> Okay. So, these plushies, they only just put this out, it was two pound. Fuggler, uh, I've checked. So, most of these go for 10 pound, but there's like three or four of this one that has gone for like 15 quid. And I don't know why. Like post Christmas, it's like what? So yeah, two pound. I'm happy that this is a bit of a fail. And you, right, so weirdly, it's weird how you remember where you got stuff from. So this is from the big charity shop in Hanley, and it's gorgeous. And I knew what the it was straight away. It was a Laura Ashley kids plush. This was two pound as well. I only got it because there was an orange one a, a while ago and I sold that for like 15 quid and I got it from the big charity shop in Leek. It's weird how you remember stuff. But yeah, that's the only reason why I got it. But this is a bit of a fail. It doesn't do very well. I thought that orange one was a bit different because it had like had like orange. What's it? It was a different one. I think it was like a Stegosaurus. Wait, is this a Stegosaurus? No, it was a Triceratops. Alrighty, um, how much was this? This is really nice quality. It's been in someone, it's from 2010. So it's 14 years old, bloody hell. <laughs> it's 
it was four pound and i think i paid up it was i know i paid up double xl marvel extreme i've never seen that brand uh sorry i've never seen that label for the marvel extreme but they do like different characters this is a spider-man one but uh yeah Cla claudio campione seems to do all right it's not like the like a massive but it Seems to do okay. I've had a few of them and they've always sold, so. And then they got a Billabong shirt for £4. Uh, it's an XL. I thought it was linen, but I, I was in too much of a biz. I was like, there was lots of people there, so I was like, Shh. Um, But it's not linen. But it's a nice, like, block shirt. And it's, you know, spring and summer's coming up, so. Yeah, I think, I think I've done okay. It's, it's not a hell of a lot. I'm. <laughs> I need to really start kind of pulling my finger out when it comes to car boots because I'm like, I need to get there earlier. I think I need to get there earlier. And I can't wait for this one near me that opens up. And it opens up at like four or five in the morning. Like it, you, you're you welcome in at four, but I think it opens at like five, half five. And I was like, that's too, <laughs> that's too early for me. So what I used to do is I used to get there for between six and seven. And it was perfect because as I was leaving, the onslaught of regular folk came in. I was like, oh, thank God. And then there was another one near there. So, yeah, so I need to really start pull, pulling my finger out. Right. I've got a list of all these bad boys now. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.